Welcome back Marvel fans. Today I have another Marvel Legends figure review from Wave 2. This is Marvel Legends Drax. Here in the back we have a blown up picture of Drax holding his two knives. This is more of the modern day Drax. There is an older one that's kind of got a robe and he's got more purple in him. Uh, but this one is more modern day. If you've been following my Galactics of Guardian Heroclix set, they are releasing this version of Drax and it's very awesome. Down below here you get the other seven figures in the set. So definitely check it out if any of those figures are something that you want. And I did review Phantom X. So here we have Drax out of the packaging. And this figure is pretty basic. You know, you got the green body, just kind of like a Hulk green. And then you have these two knives. Looks pretty good. Then we have the red kind of tribal paint, which is on his shoulders and, you know, on his pecs. And then down below, there's a little bit on his legs. He's got a belt which is kind of loose, so it kind of wraps around. And then there's a little bit of a, a knife molded onto his right arm, but you can't take it off. So, I mean, other than that, there's really not a lot of accessories. Some of the paint on this is pretty good, but then again, it's kind of iffy. Um, there's some like darker shades of like a brownish d black on his face. When I look at the figure, he looks pretty decent, but when I look at him through the camera, he looks very thin. His legs seem decent, but his waist and stuff, I would just imagine him more uh, a bigger character in, in my book. But, um, you know, there's Drax the Destroyer, which is more of an old school version, and then the new school here, the, the current version, which I still like Drax. He's still an awesome character, you know, going against Thanos and all, but he just looks more, um, more human-like, less galactic. You know, that's kind of what I'm looking at here. I'm still glad I have them, but um, you know, it's it's not the best, but it, it's definitely awesome. If anyone would like a Marvel Legends Drax, definitely go for this until they make an older version. I don't know if they have, but I don't think so. Uh, if they have, let me know, but I haven't seen it. But this new version is pretty decent. So this is the Heroclix version of the new Drax. As you can see here, it looks very similar to what I just showed you. Um, we have a lot more detail, but no articulation. He's got a gun, so I mean, and then he's got one of his knives. But yeah, you can see kind of where I'm going at. This is kind of what he's supposed to look like. And then we have the Marvel Universe Drax here. Same costume. Same, you know, paint applications basically, but just in a smaller form. So I'm going to spin the Marvel Legends version around here. You get an idea of what I'm talking about. This is the molding on the, the knife here that you can't take out here in the back. The legs, you get more paint there. The, the legs are nice. He just is a thin figure. But um, I think that's kind of what his new... Um, style is, but for the most part, um, very nice, but um, could be better, you know, I think he should be a little bit more bulkier in my in my book, you know, I just think he should be. So if you were wondering what Drax looked like before, this is what he currently looks like, this is what he looks like um, in the past. So, you gotta, this is a mini mate, but you get an idea that, it, you know, there's more purple and uh, it's just a different looking figure compared to something like this. Same guy, but just different costume. Now I just want to give you a quick comparison between Drax and Thanos. This was the main reason why I got this Drax, because now I have Drax and Thanos and you can do some really cool things with that, you know, for setup. Thanos is awesome and Drax is awesome too and these guys are like arch enemies. Uh, Drax is meant to kill Thanos and Thanos is just godly so basically this is really awesome and I'm glad that we finally get Drax. So before I end this video let's go over the articulation really quick. Head can go all the way around, up and down, pretty good articulation there. Arms go all the way around and out, really n normal articulation. We have bicep, double joint at the elbow, no hand articulation just this kind of uh, you know, forearm, ab articulation, there is waist articulation, this belt is kind of loose, legs can go all the way around, uh, you know, out, front, back, double jointed knees, and the feet can rotate. This one has not as much up and down, but this one can go more up and down. It's weird that they did that in two pegs. So I hope you enjoyed my Marvel Legends review on Drax from the new Series 2.